Hello and welcome back to a Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. So, we have two new people have joined our court. We have Lindsay of the Stone Crows, who uh, is an he's a uh, mountain clansman. He worships the old gods and he has decided to join us for whatever reason, presumably as a sellsword. And we also have Ethan, who is a priest who has been sent to us. He has been given the name Woodbrusher and is not much liked by the people, uh, the Greyjoys, so he was sent here. Right, let's um, find them some jobs. So, Drowned Man, that's obviously going to be Ethan. Um, he could build some zeal, but we don't really need holy warriors right now. We'll just get him to perform some charity. Um, and the other one we have is Lenzi. Now, Lenzi isn't so good at much, but he could be our just car for just now. That's fine. We also have Arwen can do stuff. Um, our wife, but we don't want her to do anything because you don't get good stats from it. And I guess that Lindsay can improve relations with our uh, liege. There we go. That seems like a good step for, step for us. And we'll get to... I suppose Rakaro should be collecting taxes when he's not busy being a commander. And Aegor should probably be scheming when he's not busy being a commander. Anyway, there we go. So that's where we are. That's our start. Nothing seems to have crashed so far. Oh, someone died. Nine more Martell died. Okay. Interesting. I have grown increasingly attached to Arwen, and though our marriage is merely a practical arrangement, I wonder if I now come have come to love her. Uh, we can say this is a marriage of love. We gain the trait chaste, but we gain 20 um, fertility. So basically what that means is we gain 5 extra fertility with um, Arwen, but nothing else. Or I shouldn't concern myself with trifles, or but all the other girls. That sounds like a lot of work, and we are a bit uh, slothful. Also maimed. You know, I think we're going to take this as marriage of love. I don't feel comfortable with other human beings. I've gained the chaste trait. That's not quite uh, what it means, but anyway. That's how it works in terms of the uh, mechanics. Anyway, there we go. Uh, again, uh, it's uh, the rocker gaining a whole bunch of stuff. How is Aegon doing in his uh, conquests? Well, it's not actually a conquest. It's currently the Stormland of Westeros is your war over Blackwater Bay. Um, he's not winning as much as he was, but that's because he's in the Whispers. Yeah, okay. He's winning a different war first. That's fine. He'll, uh, he'll get them all done. Well, it looks like Aegon just ended the war. Nope. Some sieges were just undone. Okay, interesting. Oh, there we go. He won his war over against the Stormlands. He should do another conquest soon, then. A daughter was born to Aegir Rivers and Meredith Lytham named Asha. Asha Rivers. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, we have quite a bit of money. We could go out raiding again, but I'm happy to kind of leave it for just now. At age 20, Harakor was slain by Kowuru of the islands in personal combat. Who is Kowuru? Okay. It's by this guy. Well, I guess that means that Harren has no, um... Like, that was his first child, right? Uh, oh no, that was his youngest. Okay. Oh, it looks like Aegon took a, a hostage. A couple of hostages, actually. Ah, okay, so that's the option he went with. I was wondering why Harren was still alive. Raiders have arrived, Grog has been banished. My wife is pregnant, fantastic. We can have another uh, child. Okay, Aegon finished his conquest. Here, fingers crossed, Aegon declares another conquest. He rants to Harren the Black, rants to some people from Aegon. Okay, people being released from Aegon's dungeons. Your horrific maiming is slowly starting to heal. No longer is your injury as painful. Instead, it is just a husk of what it once was. You no longer have use of that body part anymore. I'm a cripple. So we lose main. There's a 75% chance that we get disfigured and a 70 and a 25% chance we get crippled. Disfigured would be better for us. Crippled would be quite bad. And there's also a chance that we lose a trained fighter and gain poor fighter. What happened to us? We became disfigured. Fantastic. Well, not fantastic, but you know, it, it could have been much, much worse. Um, we're already quite ugly to start with, so we'll keep things going. Uh, Aegon is ransoming more people. No more conquests for you, Aegon. Interesting. Lord Barristan of Harvest Hall has declared a revolt against the rule of Storm King Argalak, the Arrogant. Lords of Westeros to prove the institution of chattel slavery law. He always seems to do that. It's weird. Is this because his um, entire court is made up of Iron Islanders? 
Maybe that's why he can't declare any more wars, actually, because um, he, he doesn't have council support or something. I don't know. Um, the Rock declared the Westland of Westerosi a uh, war of emancipation. Alright, we'll see how this goes. Something seems to be going fine over there. Maybe we want to go some raiding some of the Rock now that they've uh, separated. Uh, the North has declared the Northern Westerosi war of emancipation on King Aegon of Westeros. Yeah, we might want to attack the Rock a little bit. Let's raise up our troops. We'll raise them up. We'll raise up our levies. Put our levies on the boat. Get them ready to go. Do we have any leader? Oh, also toggle looter. Stay, stay on the boat. Wait, why can't we toggle looter? Owner is allowed... To, we're not allowed to loot? Oh. Not allowed to raid. Well, that's... That's upsetting. Um, well, I guess we'll just wait then. Torrent Stark is now known as the Bewitched. Oh, it looks like uh, the Greyjoys are back underneath the Iron Isles. Ah, uh, he's directly underneath Aegon, I see. Because he was the Jure and he called them. Alright, that must be how that worked. And maybe we'll try and expand within the Iron Isles then. Let's see if we can get our new uh, Just Car to get some claims on perhaps um, this little bit of island next to us. On Lord's Port. He's um, reasonably weak. Well, he's a little bit stronger than us though, but that's fine. We'll try it. I suppose we should stop trying to organize a raid, huh? Because we have no raiders. Uh, I guess you can train children. Cool. And we'll keep that going. Uh, let's uh, see how Aegon's wars go. He's in a couple of wars right now. He's against uh, the Rock and he's against the North. We have a daughter, Brella. That's fine. She's ugly. Um, but, yeah. She's alive, which is good. We filled our ambition to have a daughter. And uh, what are we going to get her? How are we going to train her? Mostly by, I guess, councillors and other courtiers. Yeah. We need a new ambition. Um, what would be our ambition? How many children? Possibly. That seems reasonable for us. Maybe we'll do a little bit more carousing while we wait. We're gonna go carousing with. How about a new, our new guy here? We'll go carousing with him. We'll invite Lindsay to a carousing. Important decision. We'll send our invites. Definitely. Uh, to my serpent tail relatives, to all my vassals, to the courtiers of Salt End. Definitely. Definitely. Lord Tristan of Macy's Hook will, has declared the war of tyranny against King Aegon of Westeros. Well, it looks like Aegon's going to lose his stuff fairly soon. Do leash, of course I will come to a feast with you. I'll bring my best appetite for revelry, yours, Ethan. Should be fun. Dear Liege, of course I will come with you. I'll bring my best appetite for revelry. Dear Liege, unfortunately I cannot join you for merrymaking at this time, but thank you for your kind invite. Hmm. Okay, he doesn't know what he's missing. I don't know why he declined. Maybe because he's wounded? Possibly. Uh, his wife is going to come though. Meredith will come. And uh, Rakaro will come. This should be fun. Oh, but it looks like James is not going to come and join us. Oh, oh well. That's fine. And Barbary. Uh, Ricaro's wife is coming. Our maester is coming. Uh, Cheryl, random courtier is coming. As is our wife. That's good. Uh, yeah, good. All of our invitations sent out. Only two knows. Aegon and uh, James. Well, they obviously don't have the appetite for drinking that we have. That's interesting. Why, what were the rivermen up to? What they declared war for? If Oh, they're in the war, war of tyranny. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, it looks like Aegon might just get swarmed to death. That would be awful for him. It'd definitely give us a different timeline. My lord, it has come to my attention nobody's been designated regent for Saltcliffe should the realm need it. Needless to say, this is a perilous position. And surely squabble and rivalry will emerge without clear leadership. I humbly petition you name me as designated regent to avoid a sort of trouble. Signed, Lord James of House Ironfoot. We're, we're, we're a very trusting guy. I think we'll, uh, we'll just kind of go with it. Yeah. Of course you can be our regent. Nothing could go wrong from just letting somebody be a regent. Right, how's Aegon's Wars going now? He's actually winning some... Some of them were tied to attack his uh, capital, but he's winning against some of them. What have we got here? Important decisions? And send more carousing advice. No, let's not do that. Let's just do the feast. That's fine. I probably would have bugged it out. Uh, we're having a great time carousing. My comrades uh, say I should slow down on the drink, but that's all nonsense. I can handle it. We'll use two diplomacy for epic hangover. For uh, a year. 
That's one epic hangover. We've got 20% chance of being known as the Drunkard, and a lot of people have a lower opinion of us. We are known as the Drunkard. That is the perfect name for us, yes. The reveling and the carousing is over for now. Time to get back to real life. Yeah, that was fun. Got some prestige, we've got a new nickname. Everything's fantastic. Right, there's a non-aggression pact between uh, Zorkin and Dur uh, Durandon. Anyway, yes. Let's keep things going. Storm King was slain by Humphrey in personal combat. Humphrey the Mummer just uh, slew uh, the Storm King. And that now means that his son has inherited Storm King Criston of the Stormlands. Interesting. Cher Sir Cheryl Errol, I just like that name, Cheryl Evel, has been released from the Straits of Tarth's dungeons. Oh, actually, we're in all these. I didn't even notice we were in all these wars. I, I kept clicking on Aegon to find these out, but we're actually instantly. Because uh, we're in the Rock War, and we can actually see things about them. This is fantastic. So it's from one battle, he's got 25%. This one is a couple of battles, and he's negative 29%, mostly due to lost control. And one battle. And the rebels control all their holdings, so they have taken war score. Interesting. Okay. Um, does Aegon have his army anywhere? Does Aegon actually have an army? Oh, there it is. Yeah, army of Quintus. Of Quentin, sorry. Yeah, that's uh, pretty good. He needs to take some of the rebel holdings to get that war score, but apart from that, he's uh, fine. People are being released from dungeons, more people being released from dungeons. Oh, that was... Uh, Princess Maria the Old of Dorne has died. And who inherited Dorne? That would be... Prince Lewin of Dorne has inherited. That would be um, her son's first son. Yeah, that makes sense. Ah, everything's fine. We can't do any, uh, like, wars or anything. We can't do you know, raiding. We could go join in this war, but I don't really want to. Meredith has dragged her unfaithful spouse, Aegor, before me and insists I should punish him. Aegor, what are you doing? Is he your friend? No, that was a different timeline. Hmm. Okay, so what, what, what are we going to go with for her? See, it's a waste of my time. She would seem insulted. He would seem grateful. Uh, we are a bit slothful, so that might be it. Yeah, if it involves less work, we'll just do that. Yeah, it's a waste of my time. I could be drinking instead of having this uh, drag before me. Ugh. Looks like the rebels might win. Peasants' revolt has ended. Why are the rebels so high up? Uh, yeah, they're just sieging everything. Okay, cool. Aegon doesn't actually have enough armies to deal with them. It's uh, kind of neat. Aegon has really misplayed this war. Like, seriously misplayed this war. Uh, Dunstan Ironfoot died stillborn. Is that his own... Would that have been his only son? No, he's, he has uh, Manfred uh, Ironfoot. Okay. Right. Um, Lord... Dear Lord Urus the Drunkard, I hereby invite you to the Grand Feast in Pike. Your presence at the fe would be, feast would be greatly appreciated. I look forward to your attendance. Lord Reaver Vikran. We'll of course attend the feast. Uh, Urus Serpentail invites you to pay the iron price by joining me on a reaving across the seas of the disputed lands. I promise we will gain many salt wives and much plunder in the ways of old. Yours, Agar Rivers. Um, yeah, of course we'll join you. Yeah. James has been our regent. He was then replaced by Agar as our regent? Interesting. I'm to James. He's our designated regent. Hmm, I don't know. Weird. Maybe it's something to do with the fact that we're on his reaving. Could be. No, oh, now Recaro's our regent. This is fun. Uh, Lord Reaver Vicrin greeted us warmly to his feast. Wine was served and the most delicious aromas came from the kitchen. Thank you for having us. Yes, we're going to probably investigate those aromas. Whilst at Lord Reaver Vicrin's feast in Pike, I was enjoying the lamprey pie, but carried away and tried to swallow too large a piece. I cannot breathe. The guests around me try to save me, but terror grips me as I realise I'm dying. Help me. <coughs> We're dead! Maester Oren is no longer Maester for Lord Dale. Ethan is no longer a drowned man. Lancey is no longer a just car. I think these all are actually still going to see here. So we've inherited Saltcliff. We're now playing as Lord Dale. That's a surprising twist in the tale that we I didn't see happening. Uh, we just died at a feast. Um, 
Okay, I guess we need to set up our council. Um, we need a spy master that's probably going to stay as Aegon. As Aegor, sorry. Uh, we don't have a regent yet. Maybe we should wait for a regent. There we go. We have a new heir. We'll play as Brella. Dear son, uh, peace be with you. I've been appointed as your regent. How old are we? We're five. Okay. Your father, Lord Urus, Serpent Tail, has died. Now it falls to you to decide whether to make the funeral a big and special event or keep it a small and private one. Uh, who's our regent? Our regent is our mother. It'll be He'll be honoured with a funeral. Um, and all the courts shall attend. Yeah. That seems about right. Actually, we can't afford that, so it'll just be uh, just the family. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess we need to appoint some more people. I, so our drowned man should stay as Ethan. Who did we have treasurer? We had Ricaro as our treasurer before. Uh, we could put him in charge again. He must have a son, but that doesn't really affect us in any way. Yeah, he can be our treasurer. Or... Hmm. Or he can be our Castellan. Is your chief advisor. I guess he can be our Castellan. And we'll have our just car as Lindsay. There we go. That's our court again. And I think I'm actually going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. Next time, we will get in another couple of courtiers. And we'll see how it goes with uh, Dale. See you then. Goodbye.